Welcome to Trade Inquiry. I'm the Stock Doc, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own Thinkorswim scanner setup. Now, in doing so, I'm going to show you three different stocks and scans so that you can figure out how to work backwards in finding the exact scenarios that you're looking for to create your own scans. We're going to walk through each one. Each one's going to get progressively more complicated, but it will also be getting progressively more creative so that you can see exactly how to create these scans on your own, how to save them, and how to edit them based on what you are looking for. So let's get started. First off, I have a stock here, BBIG. Now this is a penny stock that is pushing up quite dramatically on the day. And what often happens with these penny stocks is they get a lot of attention pre-market, they get a lot of attention during the day, they settle off, and then they start to get more attention the next day. Now we're pre-market here, and it has already had a pre-market push up. So there's a high probability that because this stock was so interesting yesterday, there'll be a lot of interest in it today, and it'll have some potential to push up. How do we scan for these stocks uh, at, you know, during the night to try and find them and prep ourselves to get to them. Well, if we take a look at the chart, you know, they've had a, it's had a massive push up uh, over 200% on the day. So how do we create a scan that searches for penny stocks that have a lot of volume and that have pushed up very high on the day? Well, if we go over to scan, let's start piecing it together one by one. Uh, towards the far right here, we see Add Filter. We're going to go ahead and click Add Filter for Stock. We first want a stock that has a high percent change on the day. So under this drop down, we go down all the way to the bottom to percent change. We want the minimum to be 20%. We really want this stock to be flying high. And the maximum, we want as high as it can possibly go, right? So let's just put in as many zero, zeros as you want. A stock won't quite make it that high, but we want to cover our bases. So now we are already searching for a stock that's pushing up 20%. Let's add another filter for stock. Now this time we want the close of the stock to be a minimum of 50 cents and with the maximum to be 25. Again, if we're going to be searching for penny stocks that have a high percent change on the day, we need to narrow down our price range. That is exactly what we have done. Finally, and again, as I mentioned before, looking at this chart, BBIG, you can see a massive spike in volume on this one particular day, a huge change in the volume. So we want stocks that are going to be having a high volume on the day for this particular scan. So let's go ahead and add that filter. Go to add filter, click stock, click down the drop down, go towards the bottom, you'll see volume, and we are gonna add a minimum of 1 million. So that way we know that there's a minimum of 1 million shares being traded in this stock. And that's it. You see how you can work backwards when you find a situation that you want to look for, you can create a thinkorswim scanner setup that is going to be able to find those different stocks. The other thing you can do with this is that you can save it. So up at this actions menu, you can click in the middle one, the drop down it says save scan query, so you can save it. You can name this and save it. The other thing you can do is you can really narrow down what broader area you're looking for. So you can scan in all symbols, you can scan in stocks, you can scan in all optionable, you can even scan in specific indexes, for example the S&P 500. Now obviously the smaller penny stocks won't necessarily fit into it, but with our next scan that would be something you might be interested in. So let's take a look at this next stock and try to work backwards how we can create the scanner to find the situation. And that next stock is Cow. What a great name. Now look at this stock. It had a massive sell-off. It's had some consolidation. It's making lower, it's making higher lows. It is starting to trend back up above the 50-day EMA, and it is starting to crest above the 200-day EMA. Specifically, if you take a look at these fat past few trading days, this candle opened above the 200-day EMA. There was a push, a low below the 200-day EMA, and the close is now above the 200-day EMA, suggesting that it opened above, people were interested in buying it, but it started to sell off 
buyers came back in and pushed that price back up, suggesting support at this 200-day EMA. You'll also notice that the 50-day EMA is below the 200-day EMA. So knowing that information, let's work backwards and create our own Thinkorswim scanner setup that is going to find stocks with exactly this setup. Go ahead and click into scan. We want to, on this third drop down here, we're gonna remove all filters. We're gonna start fresh. Now this one will be a little bit more complicated, but when you look at the stock, you just have to piece it backwards into the scan to find exact same results, which is how I found this to begin with. So go into scan, go ahead, click add filter. And this time we're going to go into study. We're gonna to start to make custom study uh, filters. You'll notice that right away it defaults to the ADX crossover. You can have a ton of different studies that you can add here, but you can also customize it, which is what we're gonna do. So I like to go over to the far right here. You notice you can change what time frame you're looking on. So if you're a day trader versus a swing trader, how you can might how you might be able to fill, factor that into your scan. Go ahead and click this pencil though. This is where all it, the action's gonna happen in our scan. Right now you see the default, the ADX crossover. We're just gonna delete that. And we're gonna come down to the bottom left here, click add condition. This is where we build our custom scans. So remember in that stock, I mentioned the open was above that 200 day EMA. Let's create the scan for it. Go ahead and click price to select a condition. Click on open. We want the open of the stock to be greater than the study EXP for exponential, moving average exponential. Down here at the bottom towards length, we want 200. And just like that, we have set the uh, scan to look for stocks where the open is greater than the 200 day EMA. Now it also has an option to be within so many bars or days, depending on uh, what your time is here. We're just gonna leave that at one for now, but you can of course edit that. The whole point is to show you how to be creative with this. Go ahead and click save and let's create the next condition, which is we want that low to drop below the 200 day EMA. Click add condition, select condition. We want price. We want the low to be less than or equal to and select a condition for study. Go EXP for exponential, moving average exponential. And again, we want the 200 day mo exponential moving average. Go ahead and click save. Now that final condition, you remember it closed back above the 200 day EMA. Let's add the condition, go to uh, add condition, select condition price. We want the close, there we go, to be greater than the study, look up study, exponential, moving average exponential, the length to be 200. And now we have those conditions where that stock's gonna open above go lower and close above the 200 day EMA. But then remember that the 50 day EMA was actually lower than the 200 day EMA. So let's add that condition as well to narrow down our search. Go ahead, select condition, go to study this time. It's the same uh, filter as in the next box. Go ahead, type in exponential, moving average exponential. This time we want the length to be 50 and we want it to be less than you could also do less than or equal to. See, there's some flexibility here. The whole point is to help you create your own Thinkorswim scanner setup. Go ahead, collect, select condition, and again, we're gonna do exponential, moving average exponential, 200 day EMA. There we go. Go ahead, click save. When I click OK and scan, this was exactly how I found this specific stock. It searched for these uh, specific factors, and this is what we found. So you see how we can work backwards when we know what we're looking for. We can start to work backwards to create our own Thinkorswim scanner setup that is perfect for the conditions you're looking for. I want you to get creative with this. There's so many things you can do. So finally, we're gonna move on to the next one. Now, this is gonna be the most complicated, but uh, is also gonna be the most helpful in, again, teaching you how really to create some conditions uh, based on the stocks that you're looking for. And uh, the stock that came up in this search is AZUL. Now, you can see it's a little bit different. It's recently been on an uptrend. The 50-day EMA is now above the 200-day EMA, and the stock is getting support on that. 
well, how can we create some conditions in our scan that's going to find what's going on here? Let's go over to scan. Let's go ahead and X or remove all filters. And now let's create a new study filter. So for this filter, this is going to be more for uh, swing trading, right? So we're going to first start off. We don't want stocks that are going to be penny stocks. We want to have a minimum in the price of our stock. So go ahead into stock. We want the close to be a minimum of two dollars. And see now we're starting to combine some aspects of the first scan I showed you and the second scan I showed you. So next is the nuts and bolts. So we're going to leave that stock filter. We're going to do add filter and go to study. We're going to do the same thing. It defaults to the ADX crossover on the day. We're going to leave the day, but we're going to change the ADX. We're going to delete it. We don't want that. We want to add our own conditions. So let's start to build this scanner. First and foremost, we're going to go into study and we want the 50 day SMA. So simple moving average Go into simple moving average 50 to be greater than the simple moving average 150. Now this tells us that the stock overall is on an uptrend because the 50 day SMA is greater than the 150 day SMA. It's on an uptrend. But we want an even better uptrend. We want it even closer. So now we're going to do study. We want exponential. We want the 20 day moving average exponential to be greater than the 40 day moving average exponential. Now again, why would you do that? Because you want a short term uptrend. This is telling the system to look for stocks where the moving average exponentials and uh, simple moving averages are trending above. This is on an uptrend. So now let's add our condition for the stock itself. And it's the same concept that we applied to the last one. We want it to open above the 50 day EMA to have the low drop below the 50 day EMA and to close to come back up above the 50 day EMA. Again, this is all showing that the stock is on an uptrend. There's been a drop down to the 50 day EMA and there's been support at the 50 day EMA. So let's create those conditions. Go to select a condition, go to price. We're going to do open again. We want the open to be greater than the simple moving average 50. Now this time we are going to change it to be within three bars. Let's give ourselves a little bit of wiggle room to show that support at the 50 day SMA. Go ahead, click save. We're going to add another condition. Remember, we're layering this on now that we want the low to be less than or equal to to get that support. The study simple moving average 50. So now we know that the, the open it started above the simple day moving average um, within three bars. It dropped to a low down below that 50 day moving average. And not only that, but most importantly, the close is greater than that simple moving average 50 so that we know that it went down, it had a drop, it came back up, it was able to support itself. This was the exact same scanner setup that I used to find that stock that I showed you. So go ahead, click OK. You can come over here and save that scan if you'd like. And then this is what would come up. Uh, it brings up a whole different list of stocks. You know, these scans, you can filter down as much as you can. Sometimes you still have a lot of stocks to filter through, but this was one that came up by itself. So this was a very specific scan and you can see the kind of things we're talking about. It is on a short term uptrend. The 50 day EMA or moving average is above the 200 is on uptrend. It's on a short term uptrend. There's been a bit of a dip. So there's been a bit of a drop and you can see that it is starting to be supported. It is starting to regain some momentum. So this has a higher probability of success. These are the types of things that I really want you to focus on for these scans. You have a lot of freedom, a lot of flexibility. And the, I think the best way to do it is to show you guys how to do it this way is to work backwards. You know the sets of conditions you want in the scan. If you can look at them in the chart, you can start to piece them together. Let's say you want an RSI to be less than 40. Uh, let's say you want uh, the MACD crossover to be there. What conditions are you looking for for your trade? 
and just start to work with it. Start to go over to scan, start adding some conditions that you think you're looking for in your scan. Start to narrow it down if it's too broad of a search. Maybe you can come up here and change it to only look in the S&P 500. For trend traders or longer term swing traders, this might be very attractive because these companies they already know have a history of being successful. They're in the S&P 500 after all. All different ways of thinking about how to create your own custom Thinkorswim scanner setup. So that will do it for this video. I really hope you learned something. If you did, subscribe to the channel. Just go ahead and click that button right now to subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting more videos, of course. I really appreciate your time and watching, and I hope you have a great day. I will see you in the next video. Most importantly, I hope you learned something. Take care now. Bye-bye.